and store. I'll explain what that means. They would knock their candle into a prop like that and they'd work by that light. Pillar and store basically means you would have a 10 foot long wide roadway. They dig 10 feet forward, turn left, dig 10 feet forward, turn left, and dig 10 feet forward. And basically, what that did, it left a pillar 10 feet square to support the roof and then take the coal out of the store. Okay? So they go into their stall. They knock their candle into a part like that. They were working by that long. One of these chaps comes along. Need their gas, comes into contact with the candle, and BAM! Look to bits again. Yep. This was happening every six hours somewhere in England. Okay? Every six hours a miner was being blown to pieces. And the government of the day said, this has got to stop. Sort the problem out or we'll close your mines. So what the mine owners did, they employed a man called a fireman. And they gave him a long stick. But they gave him a long stick and he would dress himself from head to foot in soaking wet sack bags to try and protect himself from the blast. And he would walk through the roadways three hours before anybody else looking for methane gas. It's lighter than air so it's in the room. And for this, he was given the princely sum extra of half a crown a month. Twelve and a half pick, yeah? He'd walk through the roadways, one and a quarter, two percent, fifty-five, nothing really to worry about. But five, seven, ten, fifteen, twenty percent, and it went... Correct, come on, you're working well. Yeah? And it blew into bits. So the government said, well, we can actually see that you're trying to do something about this problem. So what we've done, we've employed the services of an eminent scientist of the day, a man called Humphrey Davy. Humphrey Davy was knighted for making that. Sir Humphrey Davy for making a piece of gauze. But this piece of gauze was the turning point in mine safety. It saved literally thousands of lives. Because this piece of gauze would allow oxygen to pass through but it wouldn't allow heat to pass out. So what Sir Humphrey Davy did, he surrounded the wick in his Davy lamp with his gauze. This is a genuine Davy lamp. Um, it could ignite gas inside there all it wanted, but the heat couldn't come through the gauze and cause an explosion on the outside. Okay? Well, the old miners didn't like it. It didn't go off, it didn't give off a lot of light. And in the ventilation, that's the air traveling through the roadways, it blew out. So then, they had to look down for somebody who was a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic and say, good luck to that for us, pal. And he went down the roadway and his truck is matching it went, correct, it blew up. But they could see they were on the right track. Okay, so the government contacted a company called the Garforth Lamp and Lighting Co. and they made this. The Protector Lamp. Still used all over the world today. We still use Sir Humphrey Davies' gauzes, one inside the other now for double protection. They sit in the bonnet at the top with a Pyrex glass around the flame so that the light from the flame is limited. And as I say, this is still used all over the world today. Okay? Right, black damp. It's heavier than air, so we're going to look for it. Yeah? Good luck. Anything heavy seats, anything light floats. Okay? So we're going to look for it. Now we need a warm blooded creature to find it for us. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Quiet, and they pass out. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
They've got one minute, I've got five because I'm bigger, we know where the black damp is now, so we get them back out into the fresh air and get some oxygen back into the lungs quick. Okay, and then they'll be okay. Yeah? Up until 1974, it was illegal for any mine to work without canaries. And they were still on the statute books with the mines rescue right up until 1990.